junkfoodtaster.com and it's time for mic buffet food so on the left hand side i got some rice stuff chicken tikka masala and on the right hand side potato both is chicken and yeah we will check out which is the ultimate garnish rice or potato at least the microwave and look at the packaging it looks like the bamboo is it bamboo i don't know and this was like a dish looks like and let's strip them um hinchin hinchin stuff chicken stuff as well okay and they said on the packaging we should put some what is this we should put some holes into the foils so let's do it and then we microwave it Therefore, we visit the kitchen. Okay, so here we are. Let's drop it into the microwave. One by one, I think. And yeah, here we go. For minutes or something. And let's get it going. Okay, so here we go. Clock is ticking. And it's done. And it's also heavy rotation, so I'm just putting the second one in there as well. Here we go, here comes the second one. And yeah. <laughs> okay, so it's done again. And yeah, let's check it out in the studio, my friends. So here we are, back on track. And I'm starting with a cold one first, so this should be a little bit colder than this. And I drop it into my bowl <laughs> and we will see the food. I have to say it smells a little bit, it smells like... Not really like gravy, like something else. A little bit soapy. Let's, let's taste it. And the potatoes are kind of funny. Is it potatoes? Must be potatoes. It's uh, the sauces first. No, it's not. It's not potatoes. It's something called Eierknöpfle. I've never heard about Eierknöpfle. It's some sort of um, dish from wheat flour. Okay, so it's some pasta stuff. Okay, let's have it. <laughs> okay, so this was funny. We have a nice piece of, of meat I can cut in a second. And here we go, putting the gravy onto this undefinable pasta stuff I've never heard about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um. Um, yeah, it's a good mushroom um, sauce. It's nice. Um, let's cut the chicken. It's like chicken breast, so it's feely. Chicken feely, basically. And with all, I always cut stuff. And yeah, I'm kind of careful right now. It's ceramic on ceramic. So, <laughs> this cut was useless, wasn't it? It's already in the gravy again. But I think I've, I've got no, I'm just realizing I've got no fork. And it's a nice piece of um, meat, I think. I will get it out and have it. Here we go, and our finger food, let's not care. Okay, let's eat it like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. Um, mushroom sauce gets, sort of gets better and better. It's sort of the best of this dish. Um, I guess I would rate it win. Yeah. Not bad. Okay, <laughs> now comes the other dish. And I sort of wanted to mix everything, but now I think we I should not do it. <laughs> 
It's not worth it. And here we go. Here comes the rice. And the other things. Yeah. Okay, this plastic film is very resistant. Okay, here we go. And I can I mix it like this? No. I think I take the spoon and put it onto here. Aha. Uh -huh. So on here we got little chicken stripes. Okay. And I'm taking the sauce first. Is it masala sauce? What does masalin? Tikka masala. Mm -hmm. Okay, um <laughs> and taste like um It's more liquid than the mushroom sauce. It um, tastes somewhat sweet and soapy. <laughs> and uh, has a spicy finish. Not totally um, hot. Yeah, this is sold in German supermarket Netto, so I guess it's not as hot as in Asia. And let's have it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think I'm definitely German. I would go for. Um, the chicken breast pasta mushroom sauce and this is yeah but this is awesome nice quality at least mm. I think it's good take a mother but I don't like the dish I don't know I don't like the sauce or something the type of sauce yeah. Yeah, if you are a fan of um, tikka masala, you should go for it, I think, or you should try it. Um, yeah, anyways, that's it, nothing more. It's not my food, I, I'm hungry now, I have to eat something. And thanks for watching, next language. So, jetzt gibt's aus dem Netto, Netto, einmal das Chicken Tikka Masala und einmal Hähnchenbrust. Auf Steinpilzsoße mit Eierköpfle. Ja, man müsste mal lesen. Ich dachte erst, das sind, ich dachte erst, das sind kleine Kartoffeln. Dabei sind das Eierköpf, Eierknöpfle. Habe ich zwar noch nie gehört in meinem ganzen Leben, aber ist so. Gibt es im Netto. Und die Pilzsoße schmeckt sehr gut. Und man hat ein schönes Hähnchenbrust zum Essen. Genau. Gleich nochmal. Ja, ist nice. Das muss man so sagen. Um. Mhm. Das Chicken Tikka Masala ist auch gut. Nur halt, ist nicht mein, das Gericht an sich ist nicht mein Fall. Ähm, ja, ich glaube, die Soße original in Asien wäre noch schärfer. Haben sie jetzt so eine Medium Schärfe genommen und die Soße ist halt wässriger, süß, sauer und so ein bisschen seifig, wie es halt so ist. Also wie das auch schmecken muss. Ich weiß auch gar nicht, welche, welche ähm, Stehen können wir in den Zutaten durchgehen. Was macht denn die Soße, was macht den Geschmack? Was macht die Reis? Wo geht denn hier Soße los? Rote Currypaste. Kann sein, dass die Limetten das dann diesen typischen Geschmack geben. Und ja, das ist so, hat jetzt keine Qualitätsprobleme. Aber ja, müsste halt schon ein Fan von Chicken Tikka Masala sein. Oder von asiatischer Küche, um euch das zu geben. Und wenn ihr Fan von guter deutscher Küche seid hier. Haus, wie nennen Sie das? Hausmanns, nicht Hausmannskost. Wie nennt sich das? Ist das so ein Begriff? Ähm. Genau, ich habe es nachgeschlagen. Das heißt Hausmannskost. Hat sogar einen eigenen Wikipedia-Artikel. Als Hausmannskost werden deftige, nahrhafte und traditionell zubereitete Gerichte bezeichnet. Okay, also äh, traditionell zubereitet ist es jetzt nicht. Ist in der Mikrowelle, aber es ist gute Hausmannskost. 
Genau. Und das ist halt gute Asia-Kost. Okay, das wär's soweit. Danke fürs Zusehen und bis zur nächsten Folge.